Hi, I'm Robin, and this is Roaming with Rover. Recently, Jenny and Tony over at La Lida Loca issued a challenge to list your favorite cruise drinks. So I've come up with a list of about 12 drinks with one extra, one bonus drink. Now my list is from two different cruises. So we've got Carnival Cruise Line and we have NCL. And the first group is from Carnival Cruise Line, which I recently went on a cruise with most of my family. And so instead of just being my favorite drinks, I'm going to give you the list of the group's favorite drinks. So top of the list is the Cucumber Sunrise. Now the Cucumber Sunrise is available only at the Alchemy Bar. It is a very refreshing, light drink. It is somewhat sweet but not overly sweet like a lot of the drinks can be and it has a little surprise ingredient of watermelon and I think that's what gives it its distinctive flavor. Almost everybody in our group answered that that was their favorite group when I asked each person. So we're going for overall number one favorite is the Cucumber Sunrise from the Alchemy Bar on Carnival Cruise Lines. Now, after that, Dennis, he likes basic stuff. So his favorite on the cruise is just a basic Crown and Coke. That's his go-to drink in most situations. My daughter, Chris, she really enjoyed the Moscow Mules. They were made perfectly, she said, and it was exactly what she expected them to be. And sometimes that's the best part of a drink is that you know it's going to be just right. Her husband, Adam, he liked the mojitos. Mojitos have a nice mint flavor to them. And again, he found that they made them very well on the cruise. My other daughter, Michelle, she did not have a lot of drinks on the cruise, but she did enjoy a nice glass of champagne. That's maybe something you don't think about having on the cruise, but you absolutely can. So enjoy that glass of champagne with your Sunday brunch. My son-in-law, Jason, he enjoyed the Fosters. You can get a great big can of it in the Red Frog Bar on the Carnival Lines. That's a fun bar to go to. They've got a shuffleboard there, and it's a nice place to sit and just hang out. My grandson, Connor, he found a place where they had some specialty drinks, and he really enjoyed a Hennessy XO. This was a very special cognac and he found that he was going down to find the specialty drinks like that. Things that again you would not normally maybe run into in an average bar back home. So he was down tasting those kinds of things. Now me, over and above the cucumber sunrise, I like Irish cream in my coffee. And every morning I would go up to where you could buy the specialty coffees, get my mocha, my latte, and just have them put a shot of Irish cream in it. Well, what I found out pretty quickly was there was only one coffee shop where you could have that. And the line got very, very long. So what we started doing on about the third day is as we were getting ready to go back to our room in the evening, we would stop at two or three different bars and get a shot of Irish cream, take it back to our cabin with us. And then in the morning, we would order room service with a pot of coffee and I could sit in the room and have my coffee and Irish cream and just slowly get into my morning. It really made my morning special and enjoyed it a great deal. Okay, for the second cruise, I got the joy of going on a cruise with a bunch of my girlfriends, and we had a totally different experience. We tried a lot of the more foo-foo drinks, a lot of the frozen drinks, and we were on NCL, Norwegian Cruise Lines, and what we found was my friend Karen 
really enjoyed the Miami Vice. Now the Miami Vice is half strawberry daiquiri and half pina colada. So it's really pretty done up in the hurricane style glass and half is red and half is white. And it's a yummy way to start your cruise. They tend to be pretty sweet and it is a frozen drink. So if that's the kind of drink you enjoy, you might really, really like that. my friend Dorothy really liked the melon mojito. There is a mojito bar on the NCL that we were on and it had probably a dozen different mojitos but the melon mojito was her absolute favorite. My other friend Kimberly she really enjoyed the peach lemon drop. I thought that was kind of an odd combination but it was delicious and it was something that she did enjoy frequently. And my other friend Terry said her favorite drink was anything from the Margaritaville bar. It was a fun bar way at the top of the ship and it was kind of quiet and secluded we hardly ran into any other people there at all in the afternoon so it was a nice place to go and grab a drink and just sit and look out at the water so anything from the margaritaville bar now something that you may not have thought of if you happen to be a wine drinker is if you've got the drink packages this is a great opportunity to try some different wines that you may not have tried in in the past I like some wines, other wines I don't care for at all. So I liked the opportunity to try something, say, mm, don't really care for this, and just go ahead and try something else. So that was a, a nice way to be able to get acquainted with some things that normally I would not have tried on my own. But my last and all-time favorite drink on the cruise line, Diet Pepsi. I love my Diet Pepsi and Carnival has Coke products so I was super excited when I found out that Norwegian has Pepsi products and I got to have my Diet Pepsi throughout the entire cruise. So that's it. That's our top drinks from two different cruise lines. Thanks so much for watching this today. See you soon.